happened to all i welcome the resource person sri tirumurugan deputy register rc the participants of rc rc and the study center who have joined this program through virtual mode today respected senior regional director dr js dorthi madam and respected uh, dr jalzar kumari madam and respected vasita uh, uh, unni krishnan madam and uh, all other dignitaries at rc kochi and all other uh, nsc functionaries a very good afternoon to all uh, thank you for giving this opportunity first of all uh, uh, the partition uh, started way back from uh, 1919 onwards uh, as per my sense in 1919 the montagu chems fort made one reforms that is called the rule of diarchy the rule before the rule of diarchy the uh, british government ruled the entire india from the uh, rule of diarchy it has given powers to the provis- uh, provincial areas so what happened the uh, provincial areas uh, the the leaders of the provincial uh, started fighting with each other so uh, this has given the chance for the muslim league that time no muslim league uh, they, they also started fighting to rule in their dominated areas so that was the starting point of uh, this uh, partition uh, it has gone back to 1919 onwards then in 1920 uh, <coughs> the two nation theory was introduced uh the major uh, uh, political parties uh, from the muslim dominated uh, provincial areas they started uh, the tag of uh, separate uh, place for uh, separate pl- uh, place for them so they started with a movement uh, called the, that time uh, it was called like pakistan or uh, muslim nation state uh, that they started in uh, 1920 then again in 1933 uh, choudhry rahmat ali he distributed pamphlet to uh, muslim dominated area uh, in the name of pakistan land of the pure comprising punjab northwest frontier province kashmir sindh and baluchistan that was coined for the first time in 1933 by choudhry rahmat ali later in 1935 through government of india act uh, they introduced provincial autonomy uh, <clears throat> so through this act the uh, hindus were dominated in their province so this has ang- uh, this has made the anxieties among the muslim uh, people so again in uh, 1940 uh, the muslim league conducted three day session in lahore jinna gave two hour speech in that he made the lahore resolution or pakistan resolution demanding the areas in which muslims are numerically in majority then in 1942 quit india resolution during the quit india resolution it was uh, Uh, mainly organized by the congress and not by the muslim league so most of the congress leaders were uh, jailed whereas the muslim league has joined with the uh, british government and they again they pitted the uh, proposal for the uh, separate uh, st- nation for the nation for the muslim country muslim people in 1945 <coughs> in britain the labor party won the government and uh, the atli became the prime minister of british he has already decided to decolonize the uh, indian uh, india in uh, 1946 he sent <coughs> sorry he sent uh, lord lawrence and cripps to decolonize india the objective of the mission was just to Uh, give uh, independence to india and not <coughs> separate pakistan in 1946 elections were held in india muslim voters chosen 
they are uh, muslim uh, people muslim leaders and the hindus selected the hindu leaders however in that uh, congress won with 91 percentage uh, so this has given the lead to the british government as the legitimate successor of the british government in 1946 uh, <clears throat> Uh, the cabinet mission uh, in this uh, during the cabinet mission jinnah has given a clear demand for the uh, separate uh, proposal uh, for pakistan but this proposal was uh, rejected by the congress congress uh, again in 1946 jinnah realized that uh, it is not possible to uh, make a separate uh, land for pakistan so he announced on 16th august 1946 as the direct action day in that direct action day he categorically informed uh, do or die uh, uh, they waged a war and in that uh, war uh, some people died um, uh, so uh, or uh, some people died and they wanted to divide india into india and pakistan that was called direct action day so uh, by realizing all the uh, casualties and the situation uh, the prime minister of britain atli sent the viceroy mountbatten to india to study the issue uh, <clears throat> uh, but he he mandated the mountbatten to preserve india as a one country but mount patel uh, found that it is not viable uh, as one india uh, because of the casualties made by the uh, muslim leaders uh, in the provincial areas and their dominated places no however gandhi has denied it. gandhi has denied this proposal uh, but the congress has approved the proposal congress uh, Congress leadership, Patel, Rajendra Prasad, Rajagopalachari, represented the Congress, and the Partisan Council with Jinnah, Liaquat Taligan, and Abdul Rab Mistar representing the Muslim League. So the Congress accepted, and the Muslim League also ready, but Gandhi denied this proposal. Mount Batten advanced the date, allowing less than six months. for a mutually agreed plan for independence later <coughs> mount batten administered the independence oath to jinnah on the 14th before leaving the india where oath of oath was scheduled on the midnight of the 15th 15th uh, 15th for india on 14th august 1947 new dominion of pakistan came into being with muhammad ali jinnah son in as the first governor general of karachi the following day 9, 15th august 1947 india now dominion of india became an independent country and jawaharlal nehru assumed the office of prime minister thank you all thank you so much for this giving this opportunity uh, thank you uh, uh, respected uh, dorothy madam thank you so much and thank you asif kochi thank you sir thank you sir for giving a brief i uh, birds eye view about this uh, uh, about the proceedings during the partition uh, now i request dorothy madam to kindly express her views ma'am uh, as uh, we have been uh, doing this activity it is part of the uh, directions given by the headquarters and uh, um, uh, as we all know the uh, the uh, partition of india being a topic just been dealt in all the history books and we have studied also self studied and revisited today in this lecture and the gist is this the british civil servant sir cyril uh, radcliffe he is responsible for drawing the borders of the pakistan uh, and the east pakistan east pakistan that is the bangladesh and uh, the um, indian uh, subcontinent and uh, we can when we uh, travel across uh, the foot patterns i should say 
uh, across the uh, regions there is lot of similarities and lot of lot of adaptation also across the food uh, food patterns and the, it's the food which unites across uh, the three uh, countries i should say and uh, uh, it is not uh, how we have uh, come across the various difficulties it is how we are able to adopt it the sar countries all the three countries are part of it and uh, i also want to share uh, one more view of how the geographical locations uh, of these three countries have been uh, very important in the trade in the commerce and also in deployment of the human resources for back office operations and uh, it is one of the uh, region geographically location sharing uh the boundaries the borders uh, across the uh, natural uh, existence of the himalayas the the bay of bengal the arabian sea with common territories and also with the line of control so uh, uh, well placed to have a seamless interface for uh, trade and commerce that is what i will say uh related to it as i uh, shared in the opening remarks i i repeat that it, it is the highlight is mainly of how we can uh, um, move ahead amidst the partition and how we are very amidst the difficult situations the brotherhood the humanitarian grounds exist and prevail if the other academics have um, views they can express with the permission of uh, all uh, let me have some new seconds uh, uh, on the our uh, topic of this uh, remembrance of commemoration of partition horrors i think whatever uh, it is the name itself is telling that partition horrors so we are remembering we are observing some dates or some events in the uh, the historical events uh, sometimes Uh, maybe for not repeating the uh, horrors happened in such a scenario, and in the cost of anything, nations should keep non-violence and the peace of mind of people, and that is and that is the important thing uh, in observing this particular day. I think like uh, we were uh, observing Hiroshima Day, uh, the violence and the. horrors happened in the period of uh, two world wars like that this is a teaching uh, provision i think so one strategy the nation is using to teach the people not to be separated again or uh, don't do any that kind of violence against the communal issues and uh, some regional issues like that but another uh, Uh, reading is there in the history history of india and the present day writers uh, several people are writing so many things their opinions their views are shared and some of some people are of the argument to reunionate the uh, both the uh, countries again and uh, at that time the jurisdiction or the natural resources and the strength of economy uh, manpower everything can be utilized in a very best way and uh, again india can be one of the uh, biggest and strongest country in the world like that so many uh, arguments are there whatever it be never we can uh, forget the uh, pain or the uh, other disasters happen disasters means disaster like uh, situations happen in the in that time at the time of partition and the mass migration communal violences and uh, Uh, lakhs of millions of people were killed among muslims and hindus like that it was not a pleasant matter what uh, in the cost of anything so when we are uh, thinking of the historical events and uh, we are observing the day again it is a lesson for us lesson before us uh, we the educated civilized people of the new nation new nation means the uh, current uh, um century we should not uh, be provoked with any of these type of 
violences and uh, the unity of nation or the unity of the people culture etc has to be protected again without having any uh, thought of violence and partition in the name of even if it is for the reunification whatever it is the peace of mind is the uh, and love each other because ultimately uh, we are living for humanity not to attain anything but in the power hands uh, things will be uh, considered in several manners people may be of different thoughts whatever it is let india be a nation of peacefulness and uh, to teach the whole world uh, its humanity its cultural heritage and its uh, uh, unity in diversity etc and uh, this day let help in everybody to think on that and to behave like that that's all i have to tell and share with you friends uh, let me close my words uh, stop my words by this uh, comment prasida ma'am over to you ma'am please thank you thank you ma'am thank you for your comments uh, just i want to uh, submit here is that on this uh, commemoration of this partition day i would just like to submit that non violence peace and unity let this be the message uh, which we may continue for our nation and with this message let me uh, just wind up this session and request our section officer shri uh, murli dharan sir to kindly deliver the vote of thanks sir thank you madam the program of commemoration of partition for its remembrance day is over now thanks to our regional director dr jayesh dorothy for introducing the resource person sri tirumurugan deputy registrar rc kochi have taken a session on partition of india issues and concerns thank you sir for taking a detailed session i thank to dr jalaja kumari assistant regional director dr prasida unnikrishnan assistant director sri kj joseph section officer and all other participants in this program Thank you once again.